Hello my dear students how are you all I am Varshavi your teaching buddy and I welcome you all to study class 3 science with me by science horizon acknowledge acknowledge series a unit of amit publishing house so today we are going to study chapter number 13 that is stars planets and moon so we all have been seeing stars moons and we find it so beautiful so today let's study about it so in this chapter we are going to study about what are stars what is the solar system what are planets and what is moon now we see sun in day during the uh, during the daytime in sky every day we see moons and stars in the night so what are stars stars bote kya hai they look so beautiful twinkling lagta hai na ki star se baat kare let's go to near to the star so when we look at the sky we see many stars a star is hot glowing ball of gases so basically star is a glow ball of gases stars give out heat and light they appear as tiny uh, as these kind of twinkling dots in the sky and they are very far from us itna chhota wo isliye lagta hai kyunki bahut dur hai they are very far from us and that is why they look so tiny so small some stars they form patterns in the sky so together you know a cluster or collection of stars wo ek pattern bana dete hain sky mein and these patterns or group of stars are called constellations the constellation is a term given to a collection or pattern of stars which are formed in the sky orion o r i o n orion and ursa are major are examples of constellation that can be seen in the night sky to aap dekh sakte hain is type se structure if you ever try and focus looking at the sky during night is kind of structure aapko dikhega this is called orion constellation orion okay the sun is also a star so basically sun bhi kya hai so since a uh, star ka process kya hota hai they give out light and heat so sun is the ultimate source of light and heat the sun is also a star it is the closest star to the earth that's why it is it appears quite big in size during the day we can see the sun in the sky sun is so close that it is light uh, its light is so bright due to this we can see other stars during the day scientists use telescope we cannot see because of the light of the sun okay now scientists use telescope to study distant objects to uh, in the space तो साइंटिस्ट इन चीजों को कैसे देखते हैं दे यूज अ डिवाइस कॉल्ड टेलीस्कोप जिससे कि फार ऑब्जेक्ट्स दे अपीयर टू बी नियर अप अ टेलीस्कोप इज अ इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट हेल्प्स अस सीइंग फार ऑब्जेक्ट इन द स्काई इट मेक्स फार अवे ऑब्जेक्ट्स अपीयर लार्जर क्लोजर एंड क्लियरर साइंटिस्ट हु स्टडी स्टार्स आर कॉल्ड एस्ट्रोनॉमर्स सो बेसिकली जो स्टार्स की स्पेस की इन चीज की स्टडी करते हैं उनको हम एस्ट्रोनॉमर्स कहते हैं एंड व्हाट ऑब्जेक्ट दे व्हाट डिवाइस दे यूज दे यूज टेलीस्कोप टू स्टडी दीज फार ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन दी स्काई नाउ व्हाट आर प्लैनेट्स सो दिस इज एन उर्सा मेजर कॉन्स्टेलेशन जिसका शेप इस तरह से होता है सो इफ यू एवर नोटिस लुकिंग एट द क्लियर ब्राइट मून सनलाइट नाइट में तो आपको ये दिखेगा नाउ व्हाट आर प्लैनेट्स an object that moves around the sun in a fixed path is called planet the path in which a planet moves around the sun is called an orbit what is an orbit the path wo path jisme planet sun ke around move karta hai usko orbit kehte hain planets do not have light of their own kisi bhi planet ka khud ka light nahi hai planets get their heat and light from the sun तो कोई भी प्लैनेट किस तरह से ब्लिंक करता है या लाइट शो करता है विद द हेल्प ऑफ सनलाइट ओनली दे डू नॉट हैव लाइट ऑफ देयर ओन सो वो होते हैं प्लैनेट्स व्हाट इज द सोलर सिस्टम द सोलर सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ द सन द प्लैनेट्स एंड अदर ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट मूव इन अ फिक्स्ड ऑर्बिट अराउंड इट द सन इज एट द सेंटर ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम सन पूरे सोलर सिस्टम के सेंटर में फिक्स्ड है planets and other objects of the solar system move around the sun to so, jitne bhi planets hai earth hai moon hai wo sun ke around move karta hai sun solar system ke beech mein hai the solar system has eight planets so how many planets do our solar system have it has eight planets 
these planets are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune aur ye pura ek is hi for uh, sequence mein hai so whenever you try to answer please remember the sequence mercury venus m v e mercury venus earth then mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so these are eight planets revolving around the sun now there are some inner planets the first four planets of the solar system are closer to the sun so sun ke jo first four planets hain wo close hain now these are called the inner planets so the closer planets the first four planets which are closer to the sun unko hum inner planets kehte hain and wo kaun se hain mercury venus earth and mars these are the four planets a mercury is the first planet which is the first planet to, uh, from the sun that is mercury and it is the smallest planet in the system it is also mercury ek sabse smallest planet hai aur closest to the sun hai venus is the second closest to the sun and it is the hottest planet in the solar system so which is the hottest planet in the solar system that is venus earth is the third planet from the sun earth jo uh, jahan pe hum rehte hain jo hame uh, nature ne provide kiya hai earth that is the third planet from the sun it is the only planet where life exists so out of all these planets earth is the only blessed planet jahan pe uh, pura life exists karta hai mars is the fourth planet from the sun and it is reddish in color so if the question is asked which is the reddish color looking planet that is mars and it is also called the red planet so uh, there is more to know the solar system also contains several dwarf planet dwarf planet matlab chote chote aur bhi planets hain pure solar system mein one of these dwarf planet is pluto and it is considered the ninth planet in the solar system kuch time pehle tak pluto ko ninth planet ka naam diya gaya tha in the solar system but now it is not mentioned in the system but pluto is considered to be as a dwarf planet Now other outer planets क्या है ये तो हो गए चार inner planets which are closest to the sun. What are they? Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Now outer planets कौन से होते हैं? The next four planets of our solar system which is far from the sun they are called outer planets. And these are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So uh, let's come to study about Jupiter. It is the fifth planet. It is the fifth planet from the sun, and it is the largest planet in the solar system. So, which is the largest planet? Jupiter. Which is the smallest planet? Mercury. Which is the first planet? Mercury. Which is the hottest planet? Venus. Which is the red planet? Mars. Which planet has a uh, life in it? Earth. So, Jupiter is the fifth planet. It is the largest planet. Saturn is the sixth planet, and uh, it is the second largest planet in the system. All right. अब आते हैं यूरेनस पे इट इज दिन प्लानट फ्रॉम द सन नेपट्यून इज द्लानट फ्रॉम द सन एंड इट इज दोल्डेस्ट प्लानट सो विच इज द कोल्डेस्ट प्लानट इट इज नेपट्यून क्यों बिकॉज इट इज द फार्स्ट प्लानट फ्रॉम द सन तो इस तक सन की हीट नहीं जाती सो इट इज द कोल्डेस्ट प्लानट एंड इट इज द एट प्लान Now this was all about planet. बहुत interesting है Please again इसको अच्छे से learn करना है आपको Coming to what is moon. A natural object that orbits around a planet is called a moon. So moon एक natural object है एक इसको natural satellite कहा जाता है which keeps revolving around the planets. The moon is a part of the solar system except Mercury and Venus. Every other planet has a moon that revolves around it. तो हर एक planet के खुद के moons होते हैं लेकिन Mercury और Venus के moon नहीं है Saturn and Jupiter have many moons. So it's not the only moon we see which which uh, bright which has a bright light. So वो Earth का moon है, लेकिन सारे planet के खुद के moons होते हैं. So except Mercury and Venus, every other planet has a moon. सिर्फ so, Mercury और Venus के पास moon नहीं है. Saturn and Jupiter they have many moons. Earth के पास सिर्फ एक ही moon है. Now Earth's moon. There is no air in our moon. हमारे moon में कोई air नहीं है. Surface of our moon has huge holes and they are called craters. So these kind of big uh, holes or uh, uh, the surface is so rough like this. Moon वैसे इतना beautiful दिखता है, but actually when 
uh, when astronauts they landed on moon the real picture of moon is like this and these holes big holes are called craters and people who travel in space using space ship are called astronauts American astronaut Neil Armstrong you must have heard the name Neil Armstrong he is he was an American uh, astronaut and he became the first person to land on moon using his spacecraft Apollo 11 and he landed on moon on 20th July 1969 using Apollo 11 which reached the moon so Neil Armstrong on Uh, 20th July 1969, using Apollo 11, he landed on the moon. The moon moves around the Earth. A body that moves around another body in a fixed orbit is called a satellite. So basically, जो यहाँ से artificially हम लोग satellite to NASA or to ISRO जो हमारे space program shuttles हैं वो छोड़ते हैं उसको हम सैटेलाइट कहते हैं सो एनी ऑब्जेक्ट विच रिवॉल्व इन अ फिक्स्ड ऑर्बिट अराउंड एनी अदर ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड अ सैटेलाइट सो सैटेलाइट कैन बी नेचुरल और ह्यूमन मेड द मून इज द अर्थ नेचुरल सैटेलाइट मूवमेंट ऑफ द मून अराउंड द अर्थ इज कॉल्ड द रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ द मून सो जो मून का एक मूवमेंट है अर्थ के अराउंड को उसको हम कहते हैं रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ द मून Moon takes about twenty-eight days. Please note it down. Moon takes about twenty-eight days to complete one revolution around the Earth. The whole Earth का पूरा एक revolution चक्कर लगाने में उसको twenty-eight days लगते हैं. The Earth has many human-made satellites orbiting around it. These satellites take photographs and provide information by observing different objects in the space. So, space में क्या क्या हो रहा है and if if ever there is water or air or any kind of activities in the space, so these pictures are taken by these satellites which are released by the uh, astro scientist over here and uh, they are then seen in uh, and shown to us. So this information helps scientists to study uh, study objects in space. Moon does not have any light of its own. We see the moon because the sun's light falls over it. So we see the moon as a white ball in the night sky. Due to the revolution of the moon around the earth, the shape of the moon is not the same every day. So since ये पूरे ऐसे revolution करता रहता है and it takes twenty eight days for a complete revolution. So because of this, we say we see different uh, shapes of the moon. so it looks different on different days the different shapes of the moon visible to us from the earth are called phases of the moon so alag alag kabhi full moon dikhta hai kabhi half dikhta hai this is because of the revolution it takes around the earth aur is cheez ko is phenomena ko kehte hain phases of the moon so the full moon half moon and the crescent moon are some phases of the moon On some days we cannot see the moon. कुछ ऐसे भी टाइम आता है जब मून दिखता ही नहीं है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द न्यू मून सो दिस इज फुल मून जब पूरा एक फुल राउंड बॉल दिखता है दिस इज हाफ मून वेन इट इज ब्लॉक बाई सर्फेस वेन दिस इज प्रेसेंट मून एंड दिस इज अ न्यू मून लेसर देन हाफ मून तो ये क्या है दीज आर फेजेस ऑफ द मून ना लेट्स क्विकली रिकॉल we see the sun in the uh, day sky and we see the moon and stars in the night sky the sun is also a star it is the closest star to the earth scientists use telescope to study distant objects in space scientists who study stars scientists who study stars are called astronomers and objects that move around the sun in a fixed path is called a planet A natural object that uh, orbits around a planet is called a moon. All right. So let's try to answer some questions. What are stars? So stars are uh, tiny objects, or they 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 are uh, visible to us in a tiny small structure because they are very far from us. So they are uh, they uh, give out light and heat. So they are the objects which are there in the space. What is constellation? So a pattern formed by collecting or a group of star is uh, uh, called constellation. Name any one constellation. So there is Ursa, there is Orion. What is a planet? So there are there in the solar system there are many planets uh, which revolves around the sun. 
so there are name the planets of the solar system there are eight planets and uh, in the order of their distance from the sun so aapko pura maine yahan pe sequence bataya tha starting from mercury venus earth then saturn jupiter uh, neptune so these are the eight stars and uh, sorry planets what is a satellite so anything which revolves around an object in a fixed path that is called orbit uh, is called satellite so there are human satellite and natural satellite moon is a natural satellite because it revolves around our earth so there are man made satellites also which are released from our uh, uh, astronomers so they produce and they give pictures and ideas about what is happening in space how many days does it take for the moon to complete one revolution around the earth so it takes around 28 days for a complete revolution so my dear students this was all about such an interesting chapter knowing about stars moons constellation and our solar system so but it is a bit uh, you know chapter which you can which you have to learn and again try to answer these question till then stay excited for the class of another video and stay happy and healthy thank you so much